Good morning. The thought police in the UK, I hear stories about it, and it's very upsetting. Now, hearing about it and seeing it, those are to totally different, aren't they? Because this morning I was watching it happening, and it made me extremely uncomfortable. I got this very weird sensation in my body as I was watching this video. There will be a link below the video so you can watch it yourself if you want. So it's this guy. He's been involved in a political discussion on Sunday on Facebook. And the next day these two police officers turns up in his home, in his garden. They are right there. They are actually right there. They want him to come down to the police station. They want to ask him questions. It's so wild. Yeah. And of course, there's, this is all sad. Yeah, it is. And there is a sad detail here. You know, I have great respect for this guy who filmed the thing so that we can see it. But uh, he actually defended himself. He said, I'm not a bad man. The guys who should explain themselves, of course, the, are these police officers and the establishment who is making sure that this is going on. They should be answering questions. What the hell are they doing there? Invading this guy's privacy. Wanting to know what he wrote. Wanting to know what he thinks. It's absolutely mad. You know, I think it's like a race, isn't it? Uh, between the establishment, who is going increasingly mad, and the people who is sort of waking up. It's like a race between two racing horses. You can imagine this. One of the horses is the establishment, the increasingly mad establishment. That's its name. And the awakening people, that's the other horse. Sometimes I'm optimistic. Yeah, because there are good signs everywhere. The people are waking up. But sometimes I'm not. You know, because maybe it's too late, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it has to happen. I was talking about this, actually. Uh, a friend of mine and I was talking about it the other day. And we talked about the climate hysteria. Which is a hoax. Yes? Now, what would happen if these guys, like Al Gore or Greta Thunberg, what would happen if they came out and said, we apologize, it was all fake? Yeah, what would happen? Would the people wake up? Well, some would, of course, but I'm afraid, and this is what it looks like to me, if there was another fake story coming out the next day, a lot of people would buy it. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. But I think that's how it is. So we have a lot of work to do. We have to keep going. Yes. And we have to act. Yeah, we have to act. We have to do something. Really. So, th these things are ex extremely important. Like this guy filming these thought police officers extremely important and if you could share it that would be good you know let people see this because it's so uncomfortable and you, you feel it in your gut that this is so wrong right yeah so we have lots of work to do all right be good bye